Peace up. Peace A-Town. Up. Yeah. My name is Michael Lee. I'm 20 years old. I've been doing social media for about like five years. I started in 2015. Um, it was on Instagram and uh, Musical.ly before Musical.ly was TikTok. Um, and I, you know, I was one of the first dancers on social media. Uh, I went viral on Musical.ly first, and then by the end of 2019, when TikTok, you know, really started becoming TikTok. Um, I had 600k and in a matter of one week being on like really pushing content on that app I, I grew to a million followers and then from there that was just like unheard of so I was just like all right I think I know what I'm gonna do now you know the first thing was ah shit I have to convert now I have to get as many followers I cannot lose I've worked so I was so frustrated. I'm gonna be real, this app has changed my life in ways that you cannot even imagine. I've gotten a house, I moved out to LA by myself. I, I'm, I'm financially supporting my family because of this. The amount of effort, the amount of time that I really dedicated into this app and into like this career has been so life-changing that I was like, wow, it's really being taken away. Like, like life is hitting me with another curveball right now, you know? If I were to restart, it would set back a lot of financials for me because I am living in a house that costs $5 million. I am moving out my family out here. So the amount of income that I was making was equal to everything that I was doing, you know, because I was just pushing everything that I was making. I'm, I'm reinvesting into pushing further, getting millions of views and a few hours or having 35 million followers is it, it speaks numbers you know so people and brands will have to pay for that but now that it's like a fraction of that my income is like that same fraction as well you know so i'm really pushing to grow my other socials just to make sure that i'm not stuck and confined to one um platform so that if anything were to happen i'd still be okay Tell the floor back out, walking funny for the year. Tell me that you want me, that's the shit I always say I got. I knew I was gonna be someone. I didn't think I was gonna be like top 10 or like top tier type of thing. So it was, it was honestly a shock to me. And when everything was just happening, I was just kind of taking it in. I just gotta keep pushing forward. I wanna see how much more I can get to, you know?